Hello, welcome back to Bumpus Boards. Today we got a super exciting video for you. We're gonna make cutting board conditioner, also known as board butter, board bomb, wood conditioner. There's a lot of different names for what we're gonna to make today, but it all does the same thing. It's gonna hydrate and seal the hydration into your cutting boards, your butcher blocks, your kitchen utensils, wooden spoons, spatulas. These all get dried out over a period of time and that causes cracking and warping. So what this board butter is going to do, it's going to hydrate it, seal it in, so you'd be able to keep them healthy for a long time. Now how we're going to make this cutting board conditioner, we're going to need a crock pot, 100% food grade mineral oil, and one pound of organic beeswax in the pellet form. You can get the blocks of wax, but it's going to take a lot longer to melt, so the pellets are probably the way to go. You'll also need a measuring cup. Now the ratio for what we're going to do today is eight cups. So it's four to one ratio. It's gonna be eight cups of the food grade mineral oil to one one pound bag of the beeswax. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get the eight cups of mineral oil in the crock pot, heat it up for about 30 minutes, and then we're gonna add the beeswax for another 30 minutes. Okay, we got the crock pot up at temperature now. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting in the beeswax. The temperature is about 140, 145 degrees right now. So we're gonna get this beeswax in and this should take about another 30 minutes to be ready. So while we're waiting for that beeswax to melt, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some custom stickers on the lids of the cutting board conditioner. It's a nice touch if you're making them for friends or family or have a business, but you can get these printed anywhere. Amazon, Etsy, Forum Print, there's a lot of different places you can go to get these printed. Now I also went one step further and got a sticker printed for the bottom. And this contains the ingredients just in case anybody has any allergies and it also has the instructions of what to do with it and when. So I'm gonna work on getting these stickers on and I'll check back in with you once that beeswax is melted, we'll take the next steps. This will give you an idea what your custom sticker tins will look like. So the beeswax is all melted in with the mineral oil. Now we have the board conditioner. I'm just using my ladle right now to fill up the measuring cup and I'm using that to go ahead and pour it all in the tins. There's a total of 36 tins right here. You're going to see that this is going to fill about 35 and a half so the calculations work out pretty dead on even. And this is about only 20 minutes later. They sit up really fast so you're only going to have a little bit of time to work with them. Here you see me adding the board conditioner, some wooden utensils, and a cutting board. You just basically wipe it in there and then wait an hour or overnight and then dry it off and buff it out with a dish towel. Okay, so today I showed you how to make a complete mess. No, just kidding. We made cutting board conditioner today. And I didn't mention it earlier, but you can get these two ounce tins on Amazon. They're just called aluminum tins. These ones are two ounces. And for what we made with the eight cups of mineral oil and the one pound of beeswax, we made 35 of these two ounce tins, just to give you an idea. So when you're ordering, you can order appropriately. We also went over and I showed you how to put the stickers on them and how to apply the cutting board conditioner. Now, if you could, I'd really appreciate it if you could go ahead and go down there and like, subscribe and comment, and I'll get you some more good material in the near future. The next video is gonna be cutting board carrying instructions. So stay tuned. Thank you.